Hey guys, my name is Michael Aji. I'm Ozzy Akili. And you're watching the League of Consultants. Yeah, I was waiting for that. I was actually waiting for this time. Cool. And we're here to talk about Punisher, the review. The whole season review of the Punisher. Yes, yes. If you haven't seen it yet, don't no, watch it. You guys should because everyone's seen it. Every single season. Yes, yeah, most, most definitely. But before we continue, I think we should call on like a guest League consultant. Oh yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, gonna, I'm gonna pick yes. up my bat phone. <laughs> I'm gonna call him up. <laughs> let's see if he picks up. What, like, what do you think? But let's just get started. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 So, you know, it's ringing. It's still ringing. He's answered. Hello, Zach. We are currently filming uh, an episode about the Punisher. We'd love to get your insight on it. Could you, could you possibly teleport in at some point? Yeah? Yay! Okay. Cool. He's just putting his reactor on. And he's gonna be teleporting. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh! Yeah, you need to work out your calibration. Yeah, it's man. Difficult, bro. It's not, oh, I mean, this seems perfect. Yeah. Right. Perfect for you. Get it. Clean. Okay. You just messed up the whole. Get it. The whole feng shui as comfortable right. stuff. It's I mean, cold in this side of the city. This feels fine. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you guys have got lazy boys here. This yeah, is, no. We, no, no. Oh, you need to catch up. Yeah. Next time we'll calculate okay. the teleportation. So yeah. That's it. This is Zach. What's up? Another consultant member. And we're going to be talking about Punisher. So. Personally, you is it me? Go on. No, you go. No, person. No, personally. Or I is it. it me that like? Sorry. Go on. No, let's let Zach start. Let's let. Okay, start. Zach, you start. Oh, I yeah. should start. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, Punisher, hands down, the best comic book TV show ever. I'm gonna leave it there. I'm, I don't know. Uh, oh, what do you I'm say? Gonna, what do you say? Yeah, wow. Ah, oh, you just oh, ah. <laughs> Zach. Wow. I know. Wait, wait. Punisher was amazing. I give you that. But best ever. <sighs> it's hard to. I don't. I don't know if I can agree completely because Legion is pretty dope. Okay. Oh. Legion is a pretty good, amazing comic book show. But you can't compare. I feel. Like something like Legion to something like Punisher. You yeah, can compare Punisher different. to the rest of the Netflix series. You can compare it yeah. to Arrow, you know, something else with like minimal powers. I'd yeah. say it's the best of the like realistic superheroes, mm. you know? Okay. Yeah. I'll say that. that. Yeah. I'll, I'll take agree that. with that. Different yeah. horses with different courses. Yeah. yeah. I'll take that. Yeah. Okay. Also, yeah. I never finished Legion, so my my opinion yeah, you that is well. not of a so wide universe. Voyage. Yeah, it's no not fair. null and void, fair. but <laughs> not, no, not that. But it's not of a wider universe as opposed to you guys who watch Arrow, Flash, Gifted. Hashtag everything. Everything. Mm -hmm. I don't sleep. Can they superpose that? Hashtag everything. Yeah, Hashtag I don't sleep. No, he doesn't. No, no, no. But no, look, I mean, I feel as though, and I when it, when it first came out, when Daredevil first came out, yeah. I was the biggest fan. The hugest mm -hmm. fan. I thought I, I rated them all. I was like Daredevil, and then it would be um, Jessica Jones, yeah. and then it would be Luke Cage. Luke Cage and Iron Fist were as bad as each other, in my opinion. But we're not going to get into that. This is about Punisher. But when Punisher came out after <coughs> Daredevil season two, after the Defenders, <coughs> after all of that, the Punisher came out and made Daredevil season one look like Iron Fist. I look. Yes. I mean, I, you, leave a comment below if you agree. Maybe not with me. as far as Iron Fist. Nah, no, Alright, Luke Cage then. I mean, it made it look... Maybe not as far as Luke Cage. Punisher, hands down, was a stand, a cut, just just a different... No, but a different, complete show. It was just amazing. I would say it's also, it's a it's a new generation type of show. Not a new generation. You know, oh, because we've seen the Punisher did, before. That, because we've seen the Punisher before, but also, if you notice, now, I think with what... We've had quite a lot of... We've had Luke Cage. Yeah, yeah. Like Legion, where there was this kind of um, lightheartedness surrounding a deeper issue. Whereas Daredevil was the one that kind of broke the mold. Obviously, New Legion came afterwards. Daredevil kind of broke the mold with some like that kind of, let's say, you know, unwilling hero or, you know, but, you know, with a big tragedy attached to it. Which is nowadays, you know, that's, that's kind of the root that a lot of 
if know, we're, if we're, even if TV, if, if we're, we're comparing it strictly to Netflix, because there are like arrows yeah. kind of like that as well. I'm gonna throw it out there. I like the yeah. fact that I like the fact that Punisher had micro. Yeah, yeah. I like the fact yeah. that he had micro there. I didn't like the fact that Billy Rose saw him a were best were best buddy before. Yeah, that's not that's not normal. But I did but I in saying that though, I did think the guy who played Billy Russo was amazing. He yeah. was a really good. All of the performances in this were as, really as well good. As Madani as well. Madani. Yeah, Madani. Madani. Shout out to the UK. What Yo, no UK actress. Yes. Yeah. S- there was Daniel. no there was no like weak links in the punisher. Exactly. Like Daredevil, Foggy was the weak link. Nobody liked him. <laughs> I mean, and then what? Karen grew on Hold me. on, wait, wait, he said I mean to Foggy not being the weak link in Daredevil. I no, mean. Foggy got on my nerves. Foggy was lame, bro. I Come mean. on, man. What? What was good about Foggy? Foggy got on my nerves. What was good I, about Foggy? I wouldn't say he was lame, but he got on my nerves. But I mean, this is what this is why I was saying with this is why I said about Punisher going a completely different way, especially with Daredevil, is that Foggy was the you know he was. The, was the guy to, to lift it up. Funny, like, when funny he gets how too comedic deep, wasn't very funny. When he gets too deep, <laughs> I mean, he was all right. He was not he was funny. Right. Speaking, of, well, speaking of sidekicks, because Foggy was technically a sidekick to uh, Daredevil as uh, such. Micro, I like the way he used his, what, his, what, um, his powers, his abilities, like, yeah. in terms of hacking, his skills, in terms of yeah. he, how he used his skills made it more realistic, yeah. especially with the drone. Yeah. Because, yeah, you got this oh, yeah, they brought it to like, the they're present. Really, like, they made it good. more realistic and great. Yeah, yeah. I'm not going to lie, in the comics, Michael, he's not a villain. villain. Yeah, no, he's not a villain. What? Well, he's a bad guy. Wait, 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 let me explain. Let me explain. Comic sure. core, comic core. Wait, no, he's just gonna come up here now. He's known as Michael Chip in the comics. Yeah, no. Yeah, that's always on the nose. Yeah, I yeah. know, <laughs> right? Yeah. But, but, they, yeah. Yeah, but they changed it to Michael. But I was expecting him to actually double cross. Uh, Punisher because in the comics you know, they, yeah. they used to work together but, but eventually he goes you know I want my freedom I don't yeah. want this no more but I'm gonna go to the I'm gonna go to the FBI or, the, or was it the CIA and turn the Punisher in and see look I get that like, allowed of all these crimes committed against me if I if I, t- yeah. if I give yeah. you the Punisher. I think though that's that's they're gonna, I, I think they're gonna that. save that I think they're gonna save yeah. it because he was actually a really good character as well like I said yeah. oh. bad performances so for him to like all in all like be the bad guy of this. Season. Uh, like I feel like Netflix, what they do is they set up one bad guy and then they set up a bigger bad guy for the end of the season. That's what they. That's like that's kind of like the, yeah, the formula yeah, for yeah. these things, you know. Like in Luke Cage was a perfect example in like the second season of uh, Daredevil as well, and yeah. the first one to be fair. Like they like setting that up. So for him to become the the villain in the very first time we see Punisher on his own, like. I feel like it will hit home a lot harder if they really form this friendship, this bond in the first season, mm. and then maybe season three, they butt heads so hard that, that he, he switches over. Yeah. Because then that would be like, oh, Michael, but I hate you, but no, but I loved you over the past two seasons. I like, I like, oh, I like how they introduce his family, so they give yeah. the essence of us yeah. getting to know Michael a bit more, yeah. Yeah. and also it shows the stakes of what Michael had to. Michael he had went to through do. a journey, boy. Like, Yo, stalk, like he had to fake yeah. his death. Stalking his family pretty much like what how many years was that? It wasn't, it wasn't that long, it was like yeah. about a year, maybe yeah, it was yeah. one year this. Yeah, yeah, it was one year just stalking his family, like watching his wife maybe possibly going on a date or two, but she doesn't. But then the Punisher comes in I mean, oh, and she <laughs> puts the Mac on the Punisher. He's gotta sit there and I mean, hold that she's L there with that glass of wine. Isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> and then the way John Burnfall played it, like he was like, this really happened. Oh, <laughs> all in his face without saying anything, like it was brilliant. We'll go, so we goes. have a moment for John Burton. Yeah, yeah. I that's like my it. Punisher. Nah, that's I like, my I Punisher. Like what, I like what he did from beginning to end, especially with the struggles he was going through. I just see near the, like, near the last, the last few episodes where he was getting beaten up. Yeah. And you see him in his mind where he's with his wife. Yeah, yeah. Like, they played those flashbacks. Yo! Like, were they flashbacks where they were more like dreams? Or was it like more torture? Yeah, it was torture. Yeah, it was torture. Yeah, it was torture. Yeah, yeah. So this, was, this was him subconsciously like torturing himself. Every day, himself wake up. Yeah. Especially happened. when he's got the British, when he's got the center hammer, he's hitting the wall. You see him. Yeah. It's like he was, he was that, that internal battle with himself. You yeah. can see that internal struggle. It was it's good, like, man. it's not like. Oh, like, and then like, spoiler alert. Let, let, wait, 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 wait. Let me just finish because he felt like, even though he's. Got with the people that killed his family, he felt like everything wasn't closed with him personally. Yeah, it wasn't finished. It wasn't even done. It felt, it felt no, like he hadn't got everybody. Yeah, yeah, no, no. But at the time when he thought he did, oh yeah, it yeah, felt yeah. like he, something was still out. Yeah, there. yeah, 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 yeah. he felt like he still was punishing himself. Yeah, through that, and it was. I could see he that didn't struggle. Get complete closure. Yeah, yeah. And he played it amazingly. And spoiler alert: um, if you haven't seen it, um, at the end, at the end of the season, went like or, or one of the last episodes when he has to choose between like 
dying and being with his family or coming back to life and like continuing mm. wherever he is that he started like that was so beautifully done like yeah. the way that they did that was just immense I, I thought they played it beautifully i thought the way that they executed it like the way they showed it in like that black room thing yeah remember that yeah and it was like um did she say come to me or yeah come yeah, to me? yeah. Or yeah. Like, yeah. Like, he had That's to say no he said no to that. It was man. so powerful because for the whole season they were setting it up like, oh, he just wants to be with his family. Yeah. yeah. And, like, and when he told death mission, like, he told to let go to actually be the punisher because he said this or he prefers to be at war because he feels that's where he knows where he's space, so his space is. Yeah. And he, that's home to him because yeah. when he goes home to his actual family with his kids and everything, he doesn't know what. To do. She even said that in one in one of the flashbacks, like, where are you right now? Yeah. Also, it was a point of that he didn't have the ability to. That was the point of like, yo, come with me and be at peace. But he never had the ability. It's like everyone had been made the point of what he was chasing. Like, mm. even Michael said to him, like, revenge, that's not going to get you over there. Yeah. You know, that kind of yeah. thing. And it's, it, it needs, he never wants to hear it. And I think it sets it up for the next season. I think it sets it up for an ama- a numerous amount of seasons. Oh, yeah. Just like the comic, exactly. It's, it's so- a case where he's never going to be able to. To, to find that place of solace. Yeah. I like how they kept it towards the end because it's easy, like, towards the end, it could be like, right, I've got the guy that I need now. Now, you know, it's about my recovery or such and such. But we've already, they set it up from the very beginning of the season whereby he's killed off everyone that he thinks is responsible for this. But yet, he's still having them like this. Yeah. But yet, he's not at peace. Mm. But yet, he's slamming hammers into a wall. And you know, he's not, so they set it up so that this guy is never ever gonna find peace, which is great for us. Yeah. So we just get, to we just get more punishment. And yeah. also, Billy Russo, like, yeah. his character in, in, in this first season is not the guy in the comics. Yeah. For the future seasons, I think they're gonna bring him back because A, he's an amazing actor, but also, he plays a guy with a mangled face. And at yeah. the end of it, which is he's not, got a mangled face. Basically, yeah. in the comics, yeah, He's actually most, mostly known as a mob star, and uh, the character of his name he goes by is Jigsaw. Yeah, because his face is so jigsawed up, he is really messed. Put it back together. Yeah, ah, it's just he's really scarred up Make everywhere. Picture. Yeah, but the way the way <laughs> I liked, I like what I also liked as well as well before before it, it, it comes to a close. Um, I liked uh, how Madani was. I liked how. Lewis, the cat, that little army guy that was. Yeah, yeah. Like a special mention for the crazy um, army vet. Dude, no, no, right? but I liked it because it was a contrast. Because well, I'm doing what you're doing. He's telling yeah, the person, yeah, I'm yeah. doing what you're doing. He goes, no, but what you're doing is wrong. Yeah. And that episode, I think it was episode 10, where they were telling the version of the events, what happened between Lewis yeah, and Yeah, from different people's point of view. That Yo! Was, that was amazing. Yo! Yeah, that was really cool. But look, let us know what you <laughs> think about the new Punisher. Let us know what you're looking forward to in the second one. <laughs> Consultants, let us know what your ratings are to punish show. What are you looking forward to in season two? Right. I've got the crown to go back to watch. See you guys later.